Hi everyone, so this video is a brief explanation of what you need to be doing for writing project number three. Um, writing project number three is um, uh, kind of like the, you know, the third in a series of the evolution of the uh, 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 writing projects that you've been doing. So the first one was strictly about the poem, right? That was the first thing you had to do. Uh, the second one was uh, about the story, but I also wanted some of your uh, uh, information in there, right? Some of your background, uh, uh, some of your experiences. Um, however, this one is mainly about you, but I want you to be using the um, the play and potentially anything else we've read this semester, but definitely the play. You have to talk about the piano lesson. Um, uh, to help us understand your particular situation. And just to explain one of the reasons why I have this assignment is that I think that's one of the ways in which we can potentially use literature. Right? One of the important things about literature is it helps us in some ways uh, communicate to others uh, our own personal experiences. Um, uh, the authors have created these stories or poems with these uh, um, uh, with these particular ideas in them and we can use those ideas that they have created to help explain to others what's going on with us um, and uh, that's in some ways what I want you to think about um, you know moving out of this uh, as we move out of the course um, uh, again I don't expect that most of you are ever going to you know, some of you may, but most of you are not going to write uh, essays about literature much anymore. Um, but there are other issues that you might raise, and exposure to literature, the literature might help us understand some of those other ideas. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm going to encourage you to keep reading uh, poetry and stories, um, and uh, thinking about how some of the ideas in those works uh, relate to issues that relate to, to you, and then to be able to potentially uh, use them, uh, uh, use the literature to help uh, help us understand those complex ideas. So what I say here is that this is, it's a little bit different from the previous two. It's a personal essay, meaning that you'll mostly be discussing your own experiences. Uh, however, you'll have to use specific examples from the piano lesson to explain your situation. So you have to talk about the piano lesson. Uh, then I say you can, if you want, also use examples from other texts, right? So you can use both, right? Um, you can either just talk about the piano lesson or you can talk about, you know, let's say, the piano lesson and um, How to Date a Brown Girl or the piano lesson and El Olvido, whatever it is that you want to uh, discuss here, but you've got to talk about the piano lesson, right? As I say here, you must mention the piano lesson. Um, and I say here, uh, I know, of course, that your life is prob has probably very little to do with the specific events in the piano lesson. Uh, that story happened um, uh, about 80-some years ago, almost 85 years ago. Uh, it's supposed to take place then. Um, and so uh, there are a lot of things that are very different. But I do say here, all of us should be able to identify, what we should all be able, able to identify with is how the characters react to the land and the piano, which are the main symbols of the play. Uh, so those are things that are definitely talked about in the play, the land and the piano. Uh, they represent something to them. And um, we all have symbols in our lives, things, uh, um, uh, objects that we have that in some ways help us um, make sense of who we are, help us make sense of our family history. I won't read this entire discussion that I've written here, but talking about how our homes are very much symbolic, right? You think about a home as being just a place that keeps you warm and safe and secure. Um, that's true, but it also represents a lot of other things that I mentioned in here. Um, I mentioned in here cars as well. Cars are a way to get people from here to there, but they also represent something about independence and freedom and things like that. Um, and so there's uh, um, uh, objects that even are going to be useful uh, can represent a lot to us about uh, represent other ideas to us. And so that's what I want you to think about. If the piano and the land represent something to Bernice and Boy Willie, what are the objects in your life uh, that are going to uh, represent some larger ideas? Um, so as I say here, like all essays, this should have a clear and specific thesis, right? So we might think, well, it's a personal essay. I don't need a thesis. 
but everything needs a thesis, right? What is your big idea? Uh, and so I say for uh, your previous writing projects, your theses told us how metaphors or symbols help the author explain his or her ideas, right? You were kind of thinking about what the uh, author wanted, author of the poem or the story wanted to say. Uh, the thesis for writing project number three should tell us how the symbols in your life, right? help you make sense of a particular idea. What's the big thing that the symbol in in your life helps you uh, um, understand, right? So uh, um, uh, uh, it's still gonna have the same basic structure. It's just that you're talking about your own particular ideas. What is this uh, uh, symbol in my life tell me about who I am. How does it help me understand something about myself, about my family, about my family history, uh, anything like that. Um, so, uh, and then I have in here talking about my grandmother's pound cake, right? Um, I won't read this uh, uh, entire uh, thing here, but again, realize that what I'm discussing here is the idea that uh, this cake is not just a cake. Uh, it begins to represent something right? Uh, it represents something about family history. And then I've got this thesis in here where I talk about, you know, what it means for my grandmother who, um, you know, a um, uh, hundred years ago, my grandmother would have been about 14. So by then she uh, had probably already learned how to make this cake. Um, but as a young black girl growing uh, uh, in segregated North Carolina, uh, uh, what was her life like? And I say that eating that cake makes me think about her how hard life must have been for her to grow up then, and how such a simple treat could have provided her with so much comfort, right? And so that cake begins to represent something not just about, you know, it's just delicious, but about uh, her life uh, and uh, um, her life at a particular point in American history. So, uh, um, uh, uh, so notice that again, I have a very specific thesis that makes us think about this, kind of this larger idea here, and it relates the symbol to this larger idea. As I say in here, I do not use the word symbol, right? But that's okay because you can understand that it is representative. You can definitely use the word symbol. I'm not saying not to use that, but as long as we understand that uh, this object represents something, then that'll be okay, right? Um, so uh, keep that in mind. And I say in the body of the essay, I can tell the story about uh, what she's going to be, uh, you know, my grandmother in the cake. But as I said, I would also explain some more about Bernice in the piano lesson, right? Uh, how uh, what she thinks about the piano relates to what I may think about this cake, right? Even though the piano provides Bernice some comfort, it also reminds her of a dark time in her family's history. And I can say, well, maybe this cake does the same kind of thing, right? It might provide some comfort, but it also makes you think about uh, some other uh, 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 other uh, darker issues, potentially. So, um, uh, um, uh, again, I would definitely be making that connection. And as I said, it needs to be three pages long in MLA format. You can see the rubric here. Again, the rubric is not for your actual grade. It just tells you what you need to improve on. And you need to make sure that you have a thesis that clearly explains the symbol, uh, what the symbol or symbols from your life represent. Uh, uh, the body clearly explains why the symbols came to represent larger ideas. So you have to kind of tell the story behind them, how we got to that point, uh, because your symbols don't mean anything unless we have that full story behind them. Uh, the, uh, the body explains how the symbols are in some way connected to the symbols in the piano lesson, so really important, and uh, again, in potentially to other things as well, but definitely to the piano lesson. Follows MLA format, format, and then the writing is clear, concise, specific. Sentences are free of grammatical and mechanical errors. So um, those are the things that I'm going to be looking for in the rubric, and so as you move from your rough draft to your... Um, uh, final draft, uh, those are the things you want to think potentially think about improving. So that's uh, what you need to know for writing project number three. Again, as always, if you have any questions, let me know.